Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, I present to you the movie Sanford and Son, 1972. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they have changed in 2023 after 51 years. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to support it. All right, let's get started. Number one. Redford played Fred G. Sanford in the 1972 film. John Elroy Sanford was born on December 9, 1922, in St. Louis, Missouri, and grew up on the south side of Chicago. Redford played Fred G. Sanford when he was 15 years old, but sadly, on October 11, 1991, Ford suffered a heart attack on set. Four and a half hours after being hospitalized, he was again declared dead. He was 68 years old. <laughs> Do you believe? Perosa, Jewish is white to fox, and Apache is clean too, and in Mississippi is mud. <laughs> Number two, Demond Wilson played Lamont Sanford in the 1972 film. Wilson was born in Vadosta, Georgia, in 1946, and raised in New York City, where he studied dance and ballet. Demond Wilson played Lamont Sanford when he was 26 years old, and now he is 77 years old. Say,、so、excuse me. Now that you know that we're not trying to hold you up, how much would you have given us for that gun? Well, you see, I was just stalling you. Under other conditions, I would have given you. Got a date tonight? Wait a minute, son. Come here. I want you to show show your cousin Grady's picture. It's in the album here. You might remember him. You met him when you were little. Come on, sit down. Look, Papa. Number three, Lawanda Page played Esther Anderson in the 1972 film. Page was born Albert Peel on October 19, 1920, in Cleveland, Ohio. Lawanda Page played Esther Anderson when she was 52 years old. Sadly, Page died of a heart attack following complications from diabetes on September 14, 2002, at the age of 81. <laughs> To see if you were doing okay. Marinate 'em for hours. You taking no time. You gotta stand over a hot stove all day long. Miss your soaps. You gotta be out of your mind. Number four, Raymond Allen played Hutro Udi Anderson in the 1972 film. His last appearances were in the TV series Desperate and Midnight Brewster. Raymond Allen played Hutro Udi Anderson. When he was 43 years old, sadly, he died in August 2020 of respiratory illness in California, aged 91. Well, that's the kick me out of here. I was out all night drinking and celebrating, and when I got home this morning, Esther had to sit all my clothes out in this suitcase and wouldn't let me in. Well, what the hell you gonna stand here and let this Harry Ape call me a bad lad? <laughs> no, wait just a minute, Harry Ape. This bad lad. <laughs> Number five, Whitman Mayer played Grady Wilson in the 1972 film. Whitman Blunt Mayer Jr. was born in New York City. He grew up in Harlem and later Queens. Whitman Mayer played Grady Wilson when he was 42 years old, but sadly, Mayer died of a heart attack on May 22, 2001, at Grady Memorial Hospital in Atlanta. Good to see you. Ah, this is my stepdaughter, Betty Jean. Betty Jean, I'd like you to meet. Person. So he's used to Vegas and all that, and he was used to live audience. Well, we rehearse all week without an audience until the final day when we tape. So he would do anything to get. Number six, Don Besley played Bubble Besley in the 1972 film. Besley was born in Jamestown, Virginia. Or Detroit, Michigan, to grandparents Thomas Bessley. Don Bessley played Bubble Bessley when he was 62 years old, but Bessley died of a heart attack and kidney failure on April 15, 1997, at Hampton Central Hospital. 
and he was 87 years old. I want my daddy's record. I want my daddy's record. I want my daddy's record. And Freddie. To Betty and Freddie. <laughs> Number seven, Nathaniel Taylor played Rollo Lawson in the 1972 film. Taylor was born on March 31, 1938, in St. Louis, Missouri. Nathaniel Taylor played Rollo Lawson when he was 34 years old. Sadly, on February 23, 2019, Taylor was rushed to Ronan Reagan Medical Center after suffering a heart attack. He died there of complications on February 27, 2019. <laughs> well, I just want to make sure that we do everything like we did it that night. <laughs> now, now, what did we do? Oh, there was a... Get this! Everything! Oh, no! Everything! Oh, oh, it back. Back. Put that thing down, man! <laughs> Puff him up! Number 8. Liam Hamilton played Donna Harris in the 1972 film Hamilton was born in Diageo City, Mississippi, to Nancy and Lewis Hamilton and moved to Chicago Heights, Illinois when he was 12 years old. Lynn Hamilton played Donna Harriet when she was 42 years old, and now she is 93. I I'll take this one, sir. <laughs> uh, 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 that's $13. 13. First. And foremost, get prop training. I am, um, I'm amazed at... Number 9. Gregory Sierra played Julio Fenton in the 1972 film. Gregory Joseph Sierra was born on January 25, 1937 in Manhattan. Gregory Sierra played Julio Fuentes when he was 35 years old. Sadly, Sierra passed away on January 4, 2021, just three weeks before his 84th birthday. This is my pop, Fred Sanford. Pop, this is Julio Fuentes. Ah, this is your father, huh, Senor Mr. Sanford? Hey, I've been looking forward to this. What's the matter, Mr. Sanford? You got something against chickens? Not really. Maybe you got something against goats, huh? No, no. Thank you for watching the whole video. If you enjoyed this, but share it and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more interesting videos in the future. Thank you and see you next time.